Yeah. When you in New York, you book. What was your first major production? Was it the? I ain't even say your credits. Anybody that don't know, he because we done hopped into the conversation. But he's done <laughs> Hamilton, uh, The Little Mermaid, uh, Ain't Too Proud. Tony, Tony nominated for for Ain't Too Proud for for playing the role of David Ruffin. Hairspray Live. Um, and, and now he's gearing up to play MJ, Michael Jackson on Broadway. But before we get into all of that, I want to talk about Hamilton, um, because I want to know one, what was the audition process? But before that, when you did it, when you were doing it, preparing for it, right? Hey, yeah. hey, oh, look at that nappy ass head. <laughs> <laughs> That boy had no lineup. <laughs> yeah, you look like a new slave. Uh, <laughs> I just got off the plantation. Um, when you when you were preparing for that, y'all was having rehearsals. Did you know it was gonna be what it became? Was oh, there any inclination? Was. Absolutely. We knew we knew from moment one when it came to auditioning for Hamilton. Like, truth is, I had worked with that team, the whole creative team, the director, the choreographer the music director i worked with them before um we did the show called the wit or you know the whiz right um they did a short stint uh in new york and they had another show called in the heights that i had this for a bunch of times so they knew me um so after i had already done the whiz with them and i did the show bring it on with them when they came to hamilton they called me up directly it was like yo we got this new project it was just, it was just a reading stage at that at that point and pretty much we just just they're gonna get the cast together we're going to go through the script and the music for like a couple of weeks. And we're just going to sit at, t- at a music stands and just sing it out loud just so they can hear the flow of the show just off the page. Right. Um, so they called me up. They're like, yo, we got this new show. We just want you to come in. Here's two of the tracks from the show. Just come in and sing it real quick for us so we can know where to place you pretty much. So they already knew that they wanted me to be in it. Um, so once I got into that reading though, bruh, and I got my hands on that, that music for the first time and I started, Hey, I didn't know the story of Hamilton like that at all, right? Yeah, I, so I started I like didn't. literally just nobody knew really what this man had actually. If it ain't Abraham Lincoln, nigga, I'm lost. I'm right. like Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. He freed the slaves. That's all we pretty much cared about. George Washington <laughs> chopped down a tree, which comes out comes out false. That that didn't even really happen. Um, but yeah, so in this cat Hamilton, everybody thinking Hamilton was a president anyway. It's like, nah, this cat wasn't even a president, right? So first things off like this hey why you just why script. i just learned something i'm like oh hamilton wasn't a president <laughs> nah bro he ain't do nothing but handle the money that's all he did right Get straight the bag, up create the bag you know what i'm saying like um so yeah once i got through the script and realized like yo this man's life of how a he came out of the caribbean actually so a lot of people actually believe he might have been half black and they just always whitewashed him because they couldn't you know they didn't want to accept that um it's just a crazy story, you know what I'm saying, like that, and then um, that we had never heard before, right? And then, of course, Lynn is a genius that's like, oh, I'm gonna take the story and somehow make a hip hop mixtape out of it. So, mm. you know what I'm saying? So, I'm reading these lyrics, I'm singing these songs, and I'm just like, yo, this thing is bopping, bro. Like, l- never has there been a Broadway show that sounded like this, that was all hip hop based. I mean, especially when we first started, there were so many more like NWA, Busta Rhymes references, Nas, like, you know, everybody was referencing hip hop through this American story about a dude that actually came from uh, the Caribbean and flipped stuff in America just because of his writing. And so he made it a hip hop story. And I was like, yo, there's never been anything on Broadway like this, especially by, told by all people of color. It was right. like the, just the concept, the idea itself was so next level, so revolutionary, so uh, mind blowing. that I knew it had no choice but to slap all of Broadway in the face because nobody was moving like that. Le- what I didn't know Cause we finished the whole reading bro and like people were just crying like they couldn't believe what they were hearing but that what we we knew that it was going to change the face of broadway we knew it was going to change the face of like kind of theater in new york take that to the next level we had no clue that this was going to become like literally a cultural phenomenon like across the country this is being taught in schools now like literally how big it got across the entire country across the globe now um it's like a hamilton's like truly a household name like a lot of broadway shows you get a broadway hit you know, like, and Broadway fans know about it. Broadway performers know about it. Like, you know, Rent got to a certain extent, but, like, not everybody really knows about Rent, even across right. the country. Yeah. Hamilton is being spoken of on every television show by every person. I was literally working with uh, on the show called Vinyl on HBO at the time, and Mark Scorsese directed it. 
And I remember him coming up to me. He's like, yeah, I heard you in Hamilton. Yeah, so uh, I want to, can you get me tickets? Like, yo, crazy. crazy. Like, that's all he wanted to talk about, bro. So you should have said, Mark Scorsese, get out my face, bitch. For our butt. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> bro, uh, man, he was, he was actually really fucking cool. So I couldn't even do him like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mark Scorsese, if you ever see this, I'm joking. I would love nothing more <laughs> than to be in one of your movies. I'm joking. I love Mean Trust, Streets. I love Mean Streets. Uh, he's a little beast, though. Um, I'll tell you that story at another point. Hell yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, it's just, I, we couldn't have predicted. And it's still to this day, it's like, all right, so we finally opened up on Broadway and it's like now becoming a household name and blah, blah, blah. We didn't know how this pandemic was going to hit, right? Um, so we knew that we wanted to shoot a movie when we were doing Broadway. So right after the, the Tony Awards, they're like, yeah, we want to film this whole thing live. Um, and we're going to uh, film this movie and then we're going to release it probably like 10 years from now. They're like way down the line when like the, wow. the big noise about Hamilton has died down. But because of this pandemic hitting, Broadway shutting down, and it's supposedly even Disney was like suffering because you know the parks are closed, nobody has money for stuff. So they're like, yo, now it's the perfect time to release this film. And now it's hit a whole new height of its popularity that we just like, if it wasn't for this pandemic, again, this is like how we we're talking before, like God does things when God's timing matches up with what you're doing, what you're doing and your opportunities, like you can, you can never imagine like how far it's gonna take you, bro. So that's kind of what happened with Hamilton, bro. We knew it was going to be good, but we had no clue the tsunami that it was going to end up being. Hey, this is something I always wanted to know. How much preparation goes into a production, a Broadway production? Like, so for Hamilton, like, is it like a month worth of training? Is it two months? Is it like how much time does it take before you, you open? <clears throat> well, it depends on each show is different. Um, most shows, let's say, let's just talk about a Broadway show. Um, just, just Broadway specifically. Um, like normally when you're going into a new show, opening up a new show on Broadway, you'll start rehearsing. Like say for instance, MJ coming up, right? We're supposed to start rehearsals in January, open up in April. Mm -hmm. So you take like a month, like two two months or so to learn the whole show. And you got about another month and a half of putting the show on stage and tech, tech rehearsals, getting the lights and the sound and all the costumes and all that right. And then you go through a whole nother like, what about two, three weeks of what they call previews, where they like are just testing the show out. You rehearse all day fixing the lights, fixing more things, fixing the script. And they do the show at night for an invited, uh, for an audience that pays. And then you, so you still testing the show out on this audience and seeing how they respond and making changes. Then you open up. So that's about a three or four month process. But like for real, for a show, like I said, like Broadway is just the, the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. Like you started that years ahead with a reading at a table, just on a script. Like let's, let's read the script and see how it flows. Make sure the book is right. Then from the readings, you do a couple of those, then like another year later, you go into, a, we, we did a workshop for it. We did a workshop for about six weeks where we're just in a rehearsal studio, learning choreography, trying things out, not performing really for anybody um, until like the very last day we'll do like a showing. There's normally not, not in anybody's costumes and all that kind of stuff. Even though Hamilton, we ended up doing like a major showing. But yeah, we did a whole workshop for six weeks. Then after the workshop, <clears throat> we went off Broadway. We did off Broadway for about, six months wow. so like you know a small house only 300 seats uh playing uh, playing a show you know there and a lot of other shows will go they'll uh out of town tryout so like ain't too proud we went from doing that workshop for six weeks then we went to <clears throat> to berkeley california and did the show there for six months on a whole new uh audience away from new york just so we could test it out before bringing it to broadway lo and behold we did a whole tour uh ain't too proud the la kennedy center toronto so you got a whole you got years of build up for these shows before they even get to the Broadway process where you rehearse for three, two, three months. Sweat, 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 sweat.